In this video, we introduce our work, Federated Multi-Target Domain Adaptation. Federated learning aims to train a machine learning model using the data and computational resources on local devices to preserve privacy. For example, a client personalizes the model locally based on their usage, and then many clients' updates are aggregated on the server. And finally, a consensus change is made to the shared model. In a practical scenario, the client data is usually non-IAD due to different user habits or settings. Moreover, there is usually a large domain gap between the server data and client data. The inter-client domain mismatch and server-client domain mismatch can cause difficulties in training a federated learning model. A prior work proposes federated adversarial domain adaptation. They assume that the private and distributed client data is labeled, and there is a centralized unlabeled dataset on the server. Their goal is to train a federated learning model that performs well on the unlabeled dataset on the server. However, this scenario is not always practical since the users are unlikely to label their own data. More importantly, they store the entire large-scale data set on each client device, and they train the entire model on the client devices, which impose heavy computational costs. On the contrary, we propose a novel and practical problem setting. We name it Federated Multi-Target Domain Adaptation. In particular, we assume that the private and distributed client data is unlabeled, and there is a large-scale centralized data set on the server which is labeled. Considering both the inter-client domain gap and server-client domain gap, we see the server data as the source and the target data as multiple targets and formulate this as a multi-target domain adaptation. Before we dive into the proposed method, we will introduce a prior work on centralized domain adaptation, which is maximum classifier discrepancy. They propose to divide a machine learning model into one feature extractor and two classifiers. The classifiers are updated to maximize their discrepancy on the target data, to detect the target samples that are out of the support of source domain. And then the feature extractor is updated to minimize the classifier discrepancy to align the features. Based on the MCD framework, we propose dual adaptation to deal with the novel federated setting. On each client device, we only update a local classifier by maximum discrepancy and self-training on the private data. On the server with more computational resources, we update the feature extractor and the global classifier on the source data. Since the server cannot access the client data due to privacy concerns, we apply random mix-up and GMM reweighting on the source data to serve as a proxy of the target data. We perform extensive experiments on multiple data sets for different computer vision tasks. Here we show the quantitative results on the digit 5 dataset. We demonstrate that dual adapt performs better than the other federated based methods. In this figure, we evaluate the performance of different methods using various amount of target data for training. Specifically, we evaluate the source only baseline, the federated methods, and the centralized training methods. We perform ablation studies on the digit 5 dataset by removing individual components of our framework. Comparing with the federated version of MCD method, dual adapt requires significantly lower communication and computational costs. For more information, please refer to our paper and supplemental material.